What's going on guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to do a 45 degree incline Smith machine chest press. So this is 30 degrees right here, right? Right here, this is 45 degrees. This is about two notches up, you know? I would say, I'm going to actually scooch through here. I would say here, right? This will be flat right here, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, okay? This is our 45 degree incline chest press, right? So first things first, you need to make sure your bench is centered, right? So if we come down here, we can see our bench is centered. This bench is in the center of the knurling, right? Or in the center of the smooth part of the bar. So we know exactly where our bench is, right? From there, what we're gonna do is we are going to make sure the seat's positioned in the correct manner. So we're gonna come back here, right? Just like this, okay? Boom, okay? From there, we are going to do our bending the bar L method, right? So, but on a Smith machine that gets modified, right? So from here, you would do this, right? You would have your arm, your hands in an L position right here. You would twist, grab, and crank your elbows in. That's called bending the bar. But in this scenario, instead of having your L or your thumbs here at the bottom, they'd be right here on this mid part, right? This so in parallel image to here. They'd be right here on this mid part, right? So that when you twist, grab, and unrack, right, your knuckles are pointing and facing the ceiling. From there, what you're going to do is you're going to retract your scapula, shrugging your shoulders up, back, and down, or in this case, just making your chest the highest point in your physique, right? And then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to lower that weight, right? And this is a great lesson right here because this is just a little too high for my liking. My elbows are just a little too flared out, right? So from there, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push this bench back a little bit, like so, okay? And I'm gonna try again. This is all part of the setup when you're setting up for a Smith machine. The Smith machine being one of the best exercises you can do, but it does take a second to set up. From there, your modified bend the bar L method, right? Boom, crank, twist, grab, and bend the bar. Unrack, right? From there, we're gonna make the chest the highest point in the body, right? We're gonna squeeze our glutes, right? Put it in that crevice right there. We're going to push our knees out. We're gonna lower the bar. One, two, three, to our mid chest. This is actually perfect. And we're gonna press up. My mic's in the way. But from there, knees pushed out, glutes are squeezed, chest is the highest point in the body. Bar is bent, elbows are in, right? Lats are engaged. From there, right, as we lower the weight down, right? We are pushing our chest up and then we're touching our chest, guys. I'm just touching my chest very light because my mic's in the way. We're locking all the way out, right? That's how we do an incline 45 degree Smith machine bench press. I really encourage you to watch the other tutorials, 30, 30 degree incline press, flat dumbbell or flat incline Smith press, right? Um, because they, again, there's some great cues. Sometimes I say things in one video, I forget them in another, um, but this is a great, 45 degree standard incline Smith machine bench press tutorial. This is what a lot of people use, right? This standard 45 degree angle. It's an amazing exercise. You're gonna get great chest engagement, right? You're gonna be able to push a lot of weight. You're not gonna need your stabilization muscles. And again, you're gonna get really, really jacked. So enjoy.